Hi there, today I was asked by a viewer, if he can add a slider in the notification drop down, just like Samsung phones have, a brightness slider. A slider is a scene element, and as far as I know, you cannot show a scene in the notification using Tasker. That said, you still can change the brightness, and for that matter, you can do a whole lot of things from the notification using Tasker, so anything that you can do with Tasker, you can do it from the notification drop down, open an app, control Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, data toggle, dial a phone number, it's endless the things you can do from the notification, and that's a lot more than Samsung phones can do without Tasker. And if you insist on a slider, I can do a slider that is triggered from the notification, but it will be shown outside of it. I will show you how to do this first and then I will show you the way I like to use Tasker in the notification. So let's get started. In Tasker, click the Home button, then click on the Add button to create a new project tab. I will call it Notify, of course, you can call it whatever you like, then click the check mark when you are done. We'll start by creating the slider scene, so, while you're on the Scene tab, click the plus sign. Give it a name, call it Slider and then click the OK check mark. Sorry, I will call it Slider 1, since I already have a scene with this name, I was testing it earlier and looks like I didn't delete everything. Resize the scene. Make it thin, and as wide as the screen width, just like you see in the video. Click the three dots in the top right. Select Properties. I am going to change the background color, so click on the magnifying glass, and move the slider all the way to the left then click OK when you're done. Click the back arrow. Click the magnifying glass in the bottom right corner, then the plus sign, and from the list, select slider. You need to enter a minimum, a max and a default values, and these will depend on what you slider is set up to do, for example, volumes are between 0 and 15. While brightness values are between 0 and 255. But, I will never ever set the brightness value at zero. In case I make a mistake, I do not want to get locked out, because I cannot see the screen, so I will set the min at 30 to 35. The default value, is the value that will be set, when you open up the scene, for example if I entered 100 for a default. The brightness will be set to 100 when I start the scene. In the show indicators field, change it to always. Go to the Value Selected tab by clicking on it. Click the plus sign, then select Variables, and lastly select Variable Set. In this part, we are programming the slider, in this case, we are doing a brightness slider, you can just as easily do a volume slider. Give the variable a name, I will call it Slide, but make sure that the S is capitalized, I made a spelling error here, I will come back later and fix it. In the To field, Use the tag icon to find the Tasker preset variable called, Display Brightness. If you're setting a volume slider, then you'll look for the volumes variables instead. Next I will add an increment when the slider is moved, so leave a space after the variable, enter a plus sign then the number 30, and do not forget to check the do math box, again, for a volume slider enter a 1 or 2 instead of 30. This is how much the slider will change the volume or the brightness every time you move it. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Next select task, and finally select if. Find the variable slide using the tag icon, or enter the name yourself. Change the equation symbol to less than, by clicking on it. In the value field, enter 255, if you're doing a volume slider then enter 15. This will be the highest value the slider will reach. You don't have to change it to 254, I really had no reason to change it. Anyway it'll work with either number, go ahead and click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click on Display and then on Display Brightness. Tap on the crossed arrows in the top right, 
to enter a variable, then use the tag icon to find the variable, slide, this will enable the slider to change the brightness when you move it. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, click on task, then select, else. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, click on variables, and then select variable set. Again, use the tag icon to find the variable slide. This time I am going to set it to a minimum default value, so when the slider reaches its highest value, it will revert to this value, so I'll set it to 30, for volume you can use values as low as 0. Only brightness, you do not want to set to 0, when the screen is dark, you cannot use it. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click on display, then select display brightness. Again tap on the crossed lines, then use the tag icon to find the variable slide, and click the back arrow when you are done. Click the plus sign, click on task, then select end if, and click the back arrow when you are done. Click the back arrow. Your scene should look something like this. So go ahead and click the back arrow again. Click on the task tab then the plus sign to create a new task. Give it a name, call it slider notify, then click the OK check mark when you are done. Click the plus sign. Then select Alerts, and finally select Notify. In the text area, enter a title, I will just call it Brightness. If you wish, you can add an icon to show in the notifications, I'll click on it and select Built-in Icons, and then select an appropriate icon from the list. You can make it a permanent notification by checking this box. Scroll down, and click the plus sign, then click on the action icon, then click on scene, and lastly click on show a scene. Use the magnifying glass to find the scene name, I called it slider 1, you can control the scene position up or down, left or right, but more important is to change the display as, to dialogue. Also you can uncheck the show exit button, you don't need it for a dialogue scene. Enter whatever label you want, I'll just type brightness. Click the back arrow. Click the play icon in the bottom left you will see the notification bar icon change. Pull down the notification bar, notice I cannot remove it by swiping, if I click on it, it will open the slider underneath the notification, but on top of everything else. Get rid of the notification screen, and now you can change the brightness, just use the back arrow to clear it. I'm mirroring my phone on a laptop, so you won't see it change brightness, trust me, it is working. To clear it from your notification, click the plus sign, click on alert, then select, notify cancel. Click the back arrow. Click the play icon, you will notice that it will disappear from my notification. For now, I will deactivate it. And next I will show you how I would use the notify in Tasker to control things on my phone. So click the back arrow. Then click the plus sign to create a new task, give it a name, call it button notify, then click the back arrow when you are done. Click the plus sign, click on alerts, then on notify. Enter a title for the notification, call it brightness, and again, you can select an icon by clicking on the icon field. Check the permanent box if you want to make it stay on the notifications.
Click the plus sign, then click on the action icon, click on display, then on display brightness, and set the slider to a value that you want, I am selecting 60%. Click the back arrow. In the label area, enter whatever you want, I'll just enter 60%. I am going to do this two more times, increasing the display brightness each time. Click the plus sign, then click on the action icon, click on display, then display brightness, and using the slider set the brightness, I will set it to 125%, click the back arrow when you are done. In the label area, I will enter 125%. And finally, click the plus sign, then click on the action icon, click on display, then display brightness, and using the slider set the brightness, I will set it to 215%, click the back arrow when you are done. In the label area, I will enter 215%. Click the back arrow. Click the play icon, and you will notice my notification changed. When I open the notification, I can control the brightness, with just of a push of a button. You'll notice that my Samsung brightness bar will change when I tap on a button. The bad thing, is that you only can have three button per notification. The good things, you can do anything that you do with Tasker, from the notification. For example, call a certain contact, open an app, open a certain setting. Toggle Wi-Fi, Data, Sync. And again, if you want to remove it, use the plus sign to create an action in the Notify task, click on Alert, then select Notify Cancel, hit the Play button. I hope this tutorial has answered your question, if I learn something new, I will share it. Thanks for watching and I will be happy to look into any question you have.